If you have the Harman Ascentra, which is the uh, Harman insert, the cast iron Harman insert made from 2003 until 2012, this is the room blower that's mounted inside the unit. And it's mounted on the bottom of the 300 pound stove. And this piece right here, the housing of this, is going to be mounted inside the stove. And the motor is mounted to the bottom. And this blower inside the stove is going to have bolts or screws that go along the perimeter of this that hold it in the bottom. So when you're changing this, if you're using just the OEM, you're using just this motor right here and it comes out using these three nine millimeter nuts that go around the outside. I've actually already loosened these. So you would get to the bottom of your unit and you would take these three screws off and mind you in the stove there's going to be a green wire that goes from this terminal right here which is the grounding post and it's going to be going to one of these over here so you're going to take that grounding wire and you're just going to take it off and you're going to reuse that um, you're just going to take actually well for the sake of this video you're not going to reuse it you're just going to take that off and then you're going to pull and it's going to come out just like so. So this is the piece that is going to be mounted inside your stove and you're not going to take this out. It doesn't come out. Uh, it's uh, built into the stove as the stove is built and there's actually no way to remove this. So it's always this motor that you're going to change. Now, you may actually may not even need to change this motor, but you may need to clean all of the dog hair or other debris that gets in here, and it may still work. But to get to it, you're going to have to pull the unit out of the fireplace, tip it forward, and then access it from underneath. Also, we'll set this aside. Depending on when your stove was made, um, you're going to have wires that come off of your uh, existing blower. And this one right here only has a black and a white. And, and that's all that's ever used is the black and the white. But older versions of this motor would have a blue, a red, a white, and a black. And the blue and the white are not used. Uh, they run up into the stove and then just dead ended. And the only ones that are used are these right here. And they feed up through a hole in the bottom of the stove. And then they come out right behind the auger motor. And then they attach to the wires inside the stove. To make this a lot easier, if you have wires that are already coming down to this and there are no disconnects down here, before you take it out of the housing, take uh, some wire cutters and snip these wires down here at the motor. Then you can take this motor out and you can put some disconnects on this end down here, which would allow you to put the new motor in and connect it from underneath the stove. Because if you have to fish these wires back up through the stove, it can be very difficult. Um, to get everything lined up. So that's just one trick that I've learned over the years. So this would be your motor that you would be taking out of the stove and it, say it's not good and we're going to replace it with our NVK replacement motor. So we'll take this one, we'll put it aside. And here is our existing housing that is mounted inside the stove. And we'll actually we'll set that over here and then this blower right here looks a lot the same. This is the blower from MBK. This is our one of our aftermarket blowers. And you'll notice some differences right away. One is that we have this box right here. Let me give you a better look at it. So we got this box right here. And this is a capacitor. Um, the motor 
in here that we that they use on the MBK um, is actually a better motor. It's a bit stronger and it's a, a bit more balanced. And because it's heavier, it's going to have trouble starting up. So uh, this blower is going to use a capacitor in line with the wires to give it a and get it going. Uh, and instead of having a steady flow of electricity that comes into the motor, it powers the motor by going ba 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 ba, uh, saving energy and keeping the motor cooler, and therefore the motor actually lasting longer. And it has a bit quieter operation as well. So to get this one out, we're going to have to take these off. And these are not nuts. These are actual threaded screws. So we have to get our socket set up for this. And while this blower over here used a 9 millimeter or 11 32nd nut, these are going to be, I believe, a different size. These are going to be 10 millimeter. Yes, those are 10 millimeter. So using our 10 millimeter socket wrench, we're going to take this one off of the housing because again, this housing, even though it comes with this motor, uh, it's not gonna be used. So I'm gonna pull these nuts out. And we're going to set those aside and those aren't even going to be used again. Then we can pull this motor out and we also have to release the capacitor. So we can do that with a Phillips head screwdriver. And we're just going to undo that screw and we'll set that aside. And then this one has a grounding wire and the grounding wire is actually attached right over here, and we're gonna need that. So let's just disconnect that right now from the housing. And we'll set that aside over there. Now we can pull this motor out of the housing. Now, this housing right here is not going to be used, and we'll just discard that. So now, this is the housing that is mounted inside the stove. Like I said, does not come out. And we're going to drop this motor in. And right away, you're gonna see that we have a problem because the distance from center to here, to here, and here doesn't line up with the threaded posts that are here, here, and here. So your motor is going to come with this right here. Uh, and we are going to take this and we're going to place this on there. And then we're going to take the motor and we're going to drop it down like so. Come on, you. There we go. There's our mounting ring right there. And this one's going to have just a white and a black. All right. Now, like I said, the these wires, these are going to have to be fished up through the stove if you want to go that way. And it's very difficult. So if you would cut the other wires, then you're going to take some quarter inch spade disconnects and you're gonna do females on one side, males on the other, and then to the wires at the bottom of the stove, we're gonna connect these two up and we'll be all set to go. And so we'll just kinda of fish those off to the side. If you have an older stove with the blue and the red wires, just know that the blue and the white wires don't go to anything. 
and so you can cut those at the bottom of your stove and just leave them alone uh, tuck them back up or tape them off so um, they're not in the way but you're not going to use them and then you're going to take your grounding wire and we're going to find a place where we can connect that up now I've always found that it's easier to come over to this terminal over here and we can do that by snaking underneath right over here or we can come right over it just like so and then using your threaded nuts from your other application from the old install we're going to spin those down just like so and then over here we have our capacitor and with our capacitor we're going to take this hole right here and we're going to put this down and over that one and then we're going to thread this nut onto here now if you want to you can also thread onto one of these posts but there's not a whole lot of thread on those so we're just going to bring it down over onto this one like so and then we'll take our last nut and we'll secure the retaining clip over here onto this post and that one down like so and then the last thing that we need to do is we need to secure this motor to the retaining clip and there's going to be three nuts that go on here to hold this down and unfortunately I don't have those here but one two and three tighten those down and then your motor is all ready to go um, and you can put it back into the unit make sure that you connect up your white and your black wires to the existing wires that come down and you're done